Well, we've been telling you about the Texas Aggies Go to War exhibit set to open Friday in Belgium, and the local delegation is there to take part in honoring the Aggies who served in World War II. But there's also a business element to the trip. This morning in Brussels, American officials gave a rundown of the relationship between the two countries. They talked about the military alliance that led Belgium to provide support in Afghanistan and against ISIS. With business, there was a record $51 billion in the two-way trade between the two countries in 2013, and 2014 is projected to be even bigger. Plus, as News 3's Steve Fullhart reports, local leaders also got a look at how one major company investing in Belgium is set to make its mark on Aguiland. Here in Wavre and at two nearby GlaxoSmithKline locations, there are 8,500 people from 73 different countries that are researching and developing new vaccines to help save millions of lives. And Texas A&M is now part of that team. Wednesday, local leaders met with top GSK officials to discuss decades of research that have produced the definitive treatments of diseases like measles, rubella, and hepatitis. Earlier this year, ground was broken in A&M's bio corridor on the pandemic influenza facility that would produce up to 50 million vaccines for the U.S. in four months if a mass flu outbreak were to happen. Dr. Brett Drouin, the CEO of the A&M Health Science Center, says it is more than just hundreds of jobs and billions of dollars for our region in the first part of a 25-year deal. This will protect the U.S. from pandemics. It will take pandemics of flu off the table. The second reason is it's going to open up new development for a variety of products. Building on vaccines, you need a long-term view. And they have the patience, the perseverance, and the right mindsets to work on what is a complicated business. And while local leaders were touring the GSK facility here, Dr. Drouin was in meetings with other top officials trying to determine the next step in this public-private partnership beyond what is already on the way. Reporting from Wavre in Belgium at GSK headquarters, I'm Steve Fullhart, News 3. The delegation moves to Bastogne area tomorrow for the Aggies Go to War exhibit, which opens on Friday. Now you can learn more about the exhibit and read Steve's blog from behind the scenes at kbtx.com.